Hey Libra, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. I hope you are doing amazing. In today's reading, I'm taking a look at your romantic love life for the rest of May 2023. Whether you have a new person entering your life or you already have someone on your mind and you're wondering, Baddison, how does this person truly feel about me? What's their true intentions with me? What is their next actions? Or what's holding us back from being together? So on and so forth. I'll answer all those questions and then some in today's reading. Just a little FYI, going forward into the month of June, I'm going to start incorporating career, finance, and spiritual um, questions into the monthlies like I used to do. And then the weeklies will still be as is with love and then with the weekly all signs. All right, so let's begin. Spirit, what do we have for Libra today in their romantic love life? Who's heading towards them this week? Can I get a seven card spread? Seven card spread for Libra. Who is this person that's coming through? What's their true feelings and intentions with Libra? And what can Libra expect going forward? How does Libra feel about this person in return? The weekly outcome and their advice. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my lovely Libras. Okay, so the person heading towards you, their true feelings? We have the page of pentacles. So there is communication that someone's having with you this week. It feels like it could possibly be from a Virgo, but this is also Taurus and Capricorn energy. What's their true intentions? We have the four of swords, Libra energy. Their actions towards you this week. We have the strength card, major arcana for Leo. Is it focusing? I want you to see the details of these cards. It's so beautiful. Your feelings towards this person, Libra. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy again, but also Taurus and Capricorn. And the challenge, the Empress, major arcana for Taurus and Libra. Your potential outcome for the rest of May, the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So a lot of communication between you and this person after a period of um, possible contemplation, silence, someone needing a little bit of a break from the relationship or the dynamic. What's your advice? Queen of Cups. Some of you guys could have Cancerian uh, energy in your moon placement or your Venus. The overall energy for the connection. The Hanged Man. Major Arcana for Pisces. Now looking at the overall energy, it's telling me that you and another individual are not quite sure where the direction of the relationship is headed, but what you do know is it's there. All right, the hanged man is that period of pause to reflect on things, to really understand what the connection is teaching us, what is the next step for us without being impulsive. It's also the energy of needing to sacrifice one's feelings to have access to the higher truth, to gain enlightenment about what's happening with you and another individual on a soul level, okay? Someone here might need to let go of something, whether let go of insecurities, let go of, let go of um, apathy for a situation maybe. I am feeling like somebody here is struggling with making sense of something and it's easier to just reflect and then redirect your attention to something else if, if if you're feeling really uncertain. And then I got the temperance card right here, major for Sagittarius. This is my little spiritual bartender. So I'm definitely feeling like someone here is going through trial and error with their love life, where they're taking a little bit of a taste here, a little taste there. Kind of like going up to a, a bartender and asking for a Long Island iced tea and then finding out it's too sweet, returning it and asking for you know, a rum and coke and finding out that's too strong. It, it's trial and error until the spiritual bartender knows exactly what you're looking for and sends you your order, right? That's what I'm getting. Someone here is wondering, am I with the right person? Did I get the right order or do I want to send it back? You see how that Four of Cups is right next to the hanged man? The Four of Cups is that energy of the divine sending a new opportunity. That's the Ace of Cups. And somebody asking, is that really what I wanted? You know, should I try it out and see if I like it or not? Or should I just send it back? Four of Cups. There's already three cups up here on this TV stand that this person has already dabbled into and enjoyed. You know, so that, that's dating, that's friendship, Three of Cups, celebrating with somebody, having fun with somebody, but then wondering, have I had enough? Have I had enough of fun with this person? 
you know, should I like let that connection go and try out, you know, another connection? It's kind of what I'm getting off of you, Libra. You're kind of in that back and forth energy, which I know you get a bad rep of being indecisive, but I feel like you have every right to feel this way. You have every right to feel like you need to really understand whether you want something or not instead of just people pleasing and accepting any offer that comes by because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings. You know, that's what I'm getting. And your spirit guides are trying to create a beautiful spiritual cocktail for you. And those are the two of cups, your potential life partner, your soulmate, you know, that ideal person. Oh, wow. This is a lot of beautiful energy coming through. I've, I'm feeling like a sense of relief for somebody right now. I, I was doing a reading the other day that gave me such anxiety because there was such fear attached to a connection. But this one, I feel relief. I feel a sense of like, okay, it feels, it feels good. It feels like someone's not stressing out about this. And that could be because of the four of swords. When we dabble, when we dabble into the Four of Swords energy, that gets us out of our head. It gives us a space to just mentally take a vacation and let our spirit guides and our higher self give us downloads of what's the next thing to do instead of just freaking out. So this is what your person's doing this week or towards the end of the month of May. Okay, they're trying to make sense of something with you. Okay, in their feelings for you, we have the Page of Pentacles. Let's find out why. I'm getting a lot of good energy off of this. The Four of Wands. So clarifying your person's feelings, I got the Four of Wands. This is someone that's wanting to take a slow approach to something with you, but their ultimate goal is to build a relationship with you or to see if you are someone that they could build a relationship with. They've got good intentions. This is somebody that's actively looking for someone to settle down with. I don't know how long you guys have been con connecting with each other, but this is someone that's feeling like you have strong potential to be someone in their life for a long term, okay? The Four of Wands is building a contractual agreement with somebody energetically. It's the energy of, I support you, you support me, together we are in union, okay? But this person's taking it slow with that Page of Pentacles, which could tell me that you guys could be friends right now, going on dates, or, there is a stable, you know, dynamic between the two of you where you guys have, you know, conversations about day-to-day -day stuff. How's your work? How's your kids? How's your animals? You know, question, questions like that and conversations like that. But it does feel like someone's wanting to take it to a more romantic sense. Um, there's definitely physical attraction with the Four of Wands. Okay. And I'm getting repeated fours now. And then I got the Knight of Swords on the bottom. Okay, and I got the Knight of Swords and the potential outcome for the end of the month. This is someone that's really wanting to be decisive. The Knight of Swords is a very opinionated person um, once they've, you know, grasped on a opinion. Okay, so your feelings for this person, Libra, is the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you guys may be going back to the gym or you're really big on your health. You're, you're doing a lot of things to create a stable environment for yourself in the 3D. You're very health conscientious. And I see that with the Empress. Why the Knight of Pentacles for how Libra feels about this person? Some of you guys could have met at the gym with that Knight of Pentacles energy, or this is, um, this is someone that you feel like, this is someone you feel like is someone that you need to take a slow approach to. You can't expect overnight results because that's that's what I get off of someone that's going to the gym. You know, their their goal in mind is to possibly lose 20 pounds and you can't expect that overnight because uh, that won't be sustainable and it's unhealthy. Um, it's something where someone feels like something needs to take slow and steady so that it can it can last a long time for once. Why is the Knight of Pentacles how Libra feels about this person, please? The Ace of Swords. You feel like this is someone that, you know, you share an authentic bond with. The Ace of Swords is the energy of connecting to someone that, you know, is being truthful with you, you have open communication with, and you feel like this could be your person, all right? The Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning. And then there's the Fool on the bottom. Some of you guys met during Aries season, but if not, the Fool is representing that this person would be a part of a whole new 
opportunity for you in love. All right, and I do have the Empress in the blockage though, which could tell me that something is not ready to be birthed just yet, but it's still in its developmentation stage, right? I mean, when you look at a pregnant woman, you know she's with child, um, but depending on the, the trimester, you know that what's growing inside of her may still need time to um, develop before it's ready. Because if you rush it, you know, there could be some complications that arise if things are done too, too impulsively. So something still needs a little bit of time to bake, um, possibly three weeks, three months for somebody where a, a connection is still slowly building into something. Okay, someone may be coming out of something that needed time to heal from because I see the hanged man and I see the four of swords, which is the energy of letting go and recovering. So I don't know if you're dealing with someone that is fresh out of a relationship um, or you are. Now, their intentions is the Four of Swords. So let's see what's going on. Why the Four of Swords? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Their intentions is to look for a long-term partner. Ten of Pentacles is building a legacy with somebody. It's building a family. It's building wealth. It's building stability. It's moving in together with that Ten of Pentacles showing me empty moving boxes as to say someone just moved in and started unpacking. Um, this is also telling me that for some of you, you may be dealing with someone that recently separated from a long-term partnership and is needing time to recover. That's not gonna be for everybody because I am looking at the Five of Wands right here and the Four of Pentacles, which could indicate that there's still some drama around somebody at this time that they're trying to eliminate. So that way when they get into a partnership with you or you them, it's not gonna be starting off on a rocky foot, you know? Now the Empress is the blockage. Let's find out why. Why is the Empress in the blockage? I mean, the Empress is all about nurturing something, you know, feeling the love, wanting to give the love. It's it's very beautiful energy, but let's see. The Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands, when I read it in the blockage position, I read it in the reverse energy. And the Page of Wands in reverse is someone may be acting a little bit immature at times, kind of messing with the flow of the, the relationship, being very impulsive, being kind of erratic jealous and you know it's like if you don't respond to their text right away they might start to worry that you're talking to someone else or 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 no 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 that's not it somebody outside of your connection with this person is impacting how someone's you know approaching this relationship whether you or them someone might still have some drama surrounding them and that's what's slowing the growth of you and this person as i did touch base on that a moment ago there's something that needs to be let go of from someone's life, whether it's stress at work, stress within a family, um, an ex boyfriend, ex girlfriend, or whatever the case may be. Someone's needing to cleanse that energy from their life so that way they can feel, you know, at their best with this connection. Okay. That's what I'm getting, anyways, because I have the magician coming out and now I have the world and the queen of pentacles. Somebody's really trying to manifest, you know, abundance for themselves, a beautiful life for themselves, and reach the ultimate goal of success with that world card. Someone here may be yearning for something or traveling with that world card. Something or someone may be at a distance or acting distant. Um, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to clarify this strength card because I'm looking at someone patching a quilt, and quilts do take time to to uh, make. I haven't made one, but my mom has, and I've seen her do them, and it takes forever. So something may have been taking forever. Whether it's been taking forever, it feels for spirit to bring you someone that you can really build something beautiful with, or this individual in particular, you feel like it's been a slow roll. You know, why the strength card? The page of cups. That's in this person's actions. This person may be holding back, expressing how they feel, and it's very sweet, it's very genuine. So I do feel like for a lot of you Librans, this is a new crush, a new person, or someone that may be a friend that is wanting to have more. And if this is someone that you've been there, done that with, where there already has been expressed feelings and you know the intimacy is there, this is someone that's wanting to have a new breakthrough with you, and they're coming in with very sweet energy, but they're trying to be patient about something. 
okay? I see a lot of communication with whomever this person is because the Page of Pentacles is communication and the Page of Cups is communication. Um, someone may have been holding back communication with that page of wands because of acting out of pocket, you know, being kind of like impulsive about something, saying something that they immediately regretted, okay? So in the possible outcome between you and this person, Libra, is the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords in this art depiction shows me someone that looks like an activist. Someone that's got a sign and a blowhorn to make sure everyone hears what they have to say. So I do feel like a lot of communication between you and this individual are gonna be, is going to be like speeding up towards the later half of this month, which is in a few days, um, where someone's being very decisive about something. Why the Knight of Swords? Why the Knight of Swords for the potential outcome for Libra and this person? The Five of Wands, ooh, and the Ten of Cups. There's a situation surrounding a family dynamic that's causing some friction for somebody, and I already picked up on that earlier with the Empress to the Page of Wands. I don't know if this is a mother figure in someone's life, um, a sister, an aunt, a grandmother, an ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, or a friend. There's, there's a, it feels feminine with that Empress energy. It feels like there's someone external to the situation that is complicating things. It feels like it's a family energy. Like this person is a part of this person's family. That's causing a lot of stress. Give me a card on that. Can I get another card on that? Because I don't feel like you guys are fighting. There's no way in heck you guys are fighting. Not, not the Librans that I'm pulling on. Because your energy is too stable and secure. And their energy is very stable and secure when it comes to how they feel about you and, and their intentions towards you. It's very sweet. So this definitely feels external to somebody. Someone's got a hater around them or someone that doesn't want to see them thrive and be happy. Why the Five of Wands to the Ten of Cups? Why the Five of Wands to the Ten of Cups? Two of Wands. Someone may be explaining to you or you're explaining to this person why someone has been maybe a little bit quiet with their communication. They might be being like, hey, I got to tell you, this last few days, if I've been quiet with you, this is why. I was dealing with this, I was dealing with that, and I was dealing with this, that, and the other, and I didn't want to pull you in. Give me another card on that. Nine of Cups. Somebody's wish fulfillment and happiness was a sore to somebody else. You know, we've all been there where we're telling somebody our good news or we just look happy and our happiness irritates somebody who is either not happy or just doesn't want to see other people thrive. There's someone like that around you or around this person that sees somebody getting their wish fulfillment as a sore in their ass. You know, it's like, really? And someone's got a big decision to make on whether to block that energy for good, whether it's a family member, blood related or whatnot, or, you know, give in to this person's demands because it feels like someone's very demanding around somebody. I'll, I'll get another card on that in a second. Your advice is the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys are very spiritual. You may be readers yourself or you have dabbled into coffee readings. I love this. Why the Queen of Cups? Why the Queen of Cups? Well, with that your, being your advice, this could be to seek guidance from, you know, a cup reading or a tarot reader, which, hey, hi, you're here. <laughs> Why the Queen of Cups as Libra's advice? Nine of Cups. Come from your heart, you know, be, be open from your heart center when you deal with this person. Because I feel like this person's coming in very sweet with, you know, this little baby energy and if they come towards you with that energy, they're wanting you to do the same but up the ante. Because it feels like someone's going to be approaching you with baby steps just to test the temperature of how you feel about them or feel about the situation. And if you respond very sweet and playful, it's going to make them feel more comfortable to, you know, be even more expressive about something, which leads to the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups having a nice emotional sit-down conversation about their feelings. Because the Queen of Cups is I feel. So the overall energy is the hanged man. I am feeling like with the overall energy being the hanged man and the four of cups, there is something external to somebody that they are planning to reject, whether on your end or their end, because they don't want the taste of that cup anymore. That spiritual bartender needs to bring them a new one. Why the, temp why the hanged man? The king of cups. And I just said that. Somebody's needing to reject another um, energetic order 
because they found something that's more aligned with them. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Libra, it feels like someone's making a choice to give their heart to you, but there's someone in their life that was trying to take it away from you. It, it felt blood related. So it felt like, you know, an overbearing mother or um, an ex-wife, ex-girlfriend. It doesn't have to be a female, but I was getting a strong feminine energy. So maybe it's a guy that's, you know, really embracing his feminine side, but that's what it feels like. But something is going to be more stabilized. I want to get another card on this five of wands. I said that I was going to do that earlier. And then I'll pull the hidden message. If you're dealing with someone that's not talking to you right now, whether you stopped communication or they did, please tell me about that five of wands again. Four of cups. Look at that. I just said that somebody that got rejected by you or this person is feeling bummed out and is pouting and sulking and wanting to, you know, have that cup accepted. And someone's like, no, I don't want that cup. I already tried it. I don't like it. I, tr I sent it back to the spiritual bartender and they brought me something better. The King and Queen of Cups. You guys. I hope this is making sense. <laughs> I hope it made sense. I feel like it, the Librans that are uh, resonating with this reading will say, Badison, it makes sense. So for Zodiac Signs, you could be connecting with a Leo, a strong Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. I have Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Those were the main ones that wanted to come through the reading, but it could be any zodiac sign, okay? Hit a message for Libra and the one on their mind. Would you please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way, Libra? And if you would like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below of this video. I friggin' adore you guys. I see you in the face of strangers. You are always with me. Is it focusing? Okay, good. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you've moved on. You were my sanctuary. You were the only person I could confide in and I betrayed your trust. When times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. For some of you, someone was having trouble with anger management or having trouble with communicating their feelings and decided to just run away from the connection instead of talking things out with you. And I feel like you would have been a good listener. Librans normally are great listeners. Um, it's unfortunate they didn't give you a chance to do that. All right, so I hope this reading helps. I love you guys. If you're um, interested in the All Signs readings I do, I go live every Saturday morning at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the How Does My Person Feel About Me read. So I hope to see you there. Later, Gators.